August 29th, the Wolf Islander 4 made an unexpected visit to Kingston and boarded a large crane and other vehicles. The purpose of this trip was essentially unclear until on September the 8th this notice appeared from the Amherst Island Ferry. Accidents do of course happen but what's important is to rectify the problem and we're going to examine how that was done. By pure happenstance, on September the 11th, I had the good fortune to be on the island when that same crane reappeared. After ensuring a secure mooring, the first step was to lift in a floating work platform. This provided a safe and stable base for assessment of the task ahead and a place from which to work on installation of the replacement ramp. Given tight tolerances on the hinge parts, precision placement is absolutely critical. As we've seen so many times before, clear communication between the operator of the crane and those responsible for the work is absolutely essential. All's well that ends well, and a lick of paint goes some small way towards ensuring that no one is confused about the identity of the vessel. Over the next day or so, the Wolf Islander completed ramp testing and returned to training, hopefully soon to enter full service. <laughs>